Good morning. Good afternoon. Fire away, everybody. Preparing for any yield issues or looking at the field? Have you done any advanced scouting on that? No, no, because right now the field, uh, evident, you know, evidently it's outside. You know, they roll it in. They're going to roll it in Thursday night. That's what we heard. And then they're going to put the goalposts up Thursday night. Um, we will uh, get a practice over there on Friday. We'll go over and kind of walk around and maybe hit some balls, but just get a feel for what it looks like on Friday. With Kadarius off the injury report, do you anticipate using him as a part return? There's, there's a possibility. Uh, you know, it's up to coach. See how the week goes this week. It'll be that sixth guy, whoever whoever's going to be up as, at that wide receiver spot. He, he's definitely in the mix, though. Dave, I guess I have to ask you about this stuff that happened before the yeah. game, Justin Tucker. Um, were you, did you see that? Were you down with your guy? I was in. I was in the middle of the field when it happened. I, I saw, you know, what was going on down there. I saw it, and it happened. You know, it wasn't that long of a deal. It happened, and then it was over pretty quick. But, um, you know, I, I just think you just need to, you know, you, you have to have a little bit of common sense, really. You know, I mean, you don't put your helmet in the middle of somebody's drill. I mean, that's just common sense, really. So. You guys, you, you, it's kind of a dance. Yeah, it happens all the time. I mean, we, we have to wait sometimes five minutes to to get. Our, a spot, but we, we understand, you know, um, where we are in the pecking order. You know, kickers wait for for offense and defense. I mean, if they're on the field and they're doing their drill, you let them do the drill, and when they're done, we, we go in and kick. You know, I mean, you, you share it. There's only one field, so you have to share the area at that time until we split, you know, when the referees come out. Is that something that, uh, like Patrick said, that it was, it's been a problem? Not a problem, but you know, it's something that happened before. Is that something that? Tucker's right. He's done that for 12 years. He probably has. And, and it just meshes up with our warm up, the way he does it. It doesn't mesh up with every team. Every team does different timing. Like our timing happened to be when he does his thing. So we were there first. You know, so you let that, you, you know, you, you just wait for the guy to get done. It would have been five minutes and he would have been fine. So it's, it's really not not it's turned into a big old deal, you know, and, and I think Pat and, and Travis did a great job of explaining it and you know what happened. What are your early impressions of McLeod in game? Yeah, he's very good. I mean, he's a um, you know, obviously he's an experienced guy. Um, we faced him last year. Um, he had a couple nice returns against us. Um, you know, he was solid, strong uh, spinner type returner that slasher we call it, you know, uh, but um, you know, he's very good, you know, and, and obviously, you know, we're, we're preparing for him as well as Debo. I mean, Debo could be back there on, as, at kick returner. He's been back there a few times. So is, is there anything unique about kicking in Allegiant Stadium that <sighs> learned through? The I mean, obviously, we've been there before, so that's that that helps, you know, but really, uh, when you walk in the stadium for a Super Bowl, which we we know already, it's different. I mean, we went, you know, we went to Arizona. That place looked totally like a, a totally different place, you know. It's going to have all the, the colors for both teams, and so it's going to be like a. You won't even realize you're in, uh, you know, the state in the Raider Stadium. You know, I mean, but we have been there before, so uh, you got to think that that's an advantage, really. I mean, so. Seems like last year we were talking about, you know, a, a few special teams miscues with like the holding and then some some muffs, but this year's kind of been less of that. Is there something? Is that a difference that you've seen in, in either rosters? Uh, no, not really. I just think it's a, a thing that happened last year. Um, really, just really one guy, really kind of. I mean, and um, you know, we've, we've been solid this year. I mean, I'm I'm happy the way um, you know he's Richie's been handling things, and uh, you know, he's he's got a lot of experience and played in a lot of these big games before, so it's we're confident with him. Coach, can you can you talk about your boss? Like some years are just automatic. This year, a lot of work. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a, a crazy year. I mean, we, you know, we get everybody's best shot. I mean, when you when you go back and you look at it, and um, you know, it, it just seemed like teams had more rest than us, and it just it just the way the season went, and it was a struggle, you know, and, and a lot of times, and um, you know, to be able to get to the point where we're at, and we knew our backs were to the wall, and we had to win on the road. Uh, really, it goes. I I really think that last game of the season against the Chargers. You know, and, and peop, a lot of people won't, probably won't believe this, but that game where, where our backups had to play and our, and our starters were watching and, and they watched how they competed on the road, you know, I think it made everybody like come together as a football team because at that, coming up to that point, we were winning a game, losing a game, winning a game, losing a game. That was the first time we won a game, won a game, you know, and then we got on a streak right there. So, I, I mean, that game right there, 
you know, in my mind, uh, we, you know, for me, because my guys were playing, all the special teams guys were starting, you know, to be able to come through, you know, on the road, beating the starters, you know, on the road like that, that really brought us together as a, as a team. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to tell uh, a difference. I mean, that's that's the thing about him. He's he's very even keel and stays the same. Um, obviously, on a plane, he's a little bit more happy, you know. I mean, but um, yeah, he, he's the same and he's consistent. And, and the guys know what they expect. He's not, you know, he's not going to go crazy in the locker room because things aren't going right. He's gonna he's gonna, you know, let the guys coach and you know, and then tell them what they need to do. Simple, doesn't make big long speeches, you know, and and. Um, you know, the guy, it really works in the NFL. It really, it's really sustainable the way he coaches. What is the effect of that? Just the same after wins or losses? Well, um, you know, bad things happen sometimes, you know, and, and the guys, nobody's more upset than the guy that made the mistake. They know it, you know, so he doesn't rip them, you know, he's, and then when good things happen, he's, he's not going crazy either. He's not, you know, running in the stands or doing, you know, you know, he's, he keeps it keeps it right, you know, and and uh, you know it's a solid foundation for us, you know, and, and it makes us go. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach. Thank you.